Hello, my name is Abram Ellen Wolf, and I am the owner of the Abranimation stores in Second Life. One of the things I get asked quite a lot is how to set up an animation overrider. Today I want to show you how to set up a ZHAO based uh, um, animation overrider. Uh, the AOs in my store are based on these, and most AOs that you come across in Second Life will be based on these. Um, although there are a few other different ones around which will require a slightly different setup. Um, if you're not familiar with Animation Overrider, they're basically devices you can wear which replace your default animations. Um, as you can see, I'm standing here with a default stand. Um, this, is, this is one of the standard uh, animations that, that your avatar has by default. Um, also, if I, I walk around, you'll see I've got this normal walk that you just sort of uh, begin with when you start Second Life. Um, lots of vendors, uh, people in Second Life sell animations that you can replace uh, these standard ones with. Um, they, in they include things like stand standing animations, walks, jumps, running, flying, uh, basically all of the animations that your avatar does can be replaced with um, new animations that look a little bit better. Right then, um, okay, if I open my inventory you can see here I've prepared a folder earlier um, to help with this tutorial. It has a, an empty animation overrider, um, a sit on ground animation, a walk animation, I just play this here, I'll play the sit animation I've got here as well, um, and also I have two motion capture standing animations, so I've got this, and I have this second one here. Right, the first thing I need to do is put the animations inside the animation overrider. Um, to do this I will drop the animation overrider on the ground. Um, it's very important that you drop it on the ground um, and edit it from there rather than try to attach it to your avatar um, like, like this because uh, basically animations you can only put full permissions animations inside a animation overrider while it's attached to your avatar um, the animations I have here are full permissions because I, I created them myself um, if you are buying animations from a store in Second Life though it's, it's very unlikely that you'll get full permissions animations usually they will tend to be copy modify no transfer or perhaps no copy, uh, modify, and no transfer. Um, okay, so first I will right click on my animation override I have here. I'll select edit. This brings up a edit window here, which is a few tabs. A general object, features, texture, and content. Um, I want the content tab, which shows me all of the items that are sitting inside the animation overrider. Um, you can see here there's several scripts. These are what makes the animation overrider function. There's a um, help note card here and there's a settings note card called default. The first thing I ne will need to do is put my animations, physically put them inside the animation overrider. Um, to do this, I select the animation or animations from my inventory, I hold the left mouse button down and I drag it into the content window of my AO. And there it is, it's shown up there. I can also multiple select, if I select one and I hold the shift key down on my keyboard, I can select more than one at a time. I can then hold the button down and drag these into my animation overrider. There you can see I have my sit on ground animation, my walk animation, my motion capture stand one and motion capture stand two animation. Um, the animations are now inside 
the AO. However, it, it does not know which animation is which or what to do with them. To change this, I have to open the default note card, which I have here, and make some changes to this. Um, this section here is the section that I need to change. Um, each one of these lines with a name at the beginning represents one of the default animations that your avatar will do. So we've got standing here, uh, walking, sitting, sit on ground and so on, going going all the way down the list. Um, what you have to do is is after the title, on each line, after the title is you, you put the list of animations um, that you want to to use for that particular um, default action. Um, some lines will only accept one, but others will select multiple, uh, such as standing. You can have as many stand animations as you like. Um, so I, I'll enter the name of my st my motion capture stand one in here. Motion capture stand one. Um, it is case sensitive, and it's very important that there's no erroneous spaces at the end or anything. Um, if if the name is slightly different at all from the name of the animation that is inside the overrider, it will not work properly. Um, I have two standing animations, so I want to add another one. To add multiple animations to a single line, I can make a list by separating them with this pipe delimiter symbol. Um, on a PC keyboard, this is usually located in the bottom left um, of the keyboard, next to the shift key. Um, I've added my pipe delimiter symbol there, so I can add another stand in, so I'll put motion capture stand 2. I now have two stands here, I could add more but I, have, I haven't got them inside the animation overrider, so for now I will move on. I, I do have a walk animation, so I'll go to walking, and I'll type the name of it, male walk. Um, I also want to add my sitting on ground animation, so I'll go to sitting on ground, type male, sit on ground. Right, so I have my four animations inside the overrider, and I have their names configured in the correct spots in my note card. Um, I'll now click save to save this. And now it should be pretty much be ready. So I'll close my window, take my animation overrider back into my inventory so I can differentiate it from the empty one. I'm going to rename it slightly. Um, I'll put my AO. Right, I'll take this into my inventory now and you can see here it is, the new animation overrider with the animations inside. I'll attach this to my avatar, and here it is. Um, the last step I need to do to get this working is load the settings note card. I've, I've made alterations to it, but as of yet, it doesn't know this. It needs to load the note card. So I'll click on the disk icon here, uh, which brings a drop down, displays a drop down menu with a default note card, the name of the, the note card. Um, you can have multiple note cards inside the override um, if you want to have different different settings or multiple animation sets. Um, for now, I'm just going to click default and load the default note card. As it says here, loading default note card. I'll give it a couple of minutes to do that, or a couple of seconds, hopefully. There we go. It says four animation entries found in note card finish reading note card default. Um, if there was any difference between the name of the animations or those entered in the note card, it would tell me here that there was a problem. Um, but it appears to have been all right, so I'll go back so I can see my avatar again. Um, I'll turn it on, turn the overrider on, and here you can see I'm now doing my stand animations 
automatically. These will cycle through automatically. On this particular override, I can also manually shift through them. So here we have stand one, stand two, and I can switch between them. Um, I can sit on ground now. So there's my sitting on ground animation. And I should now be able to walk around, I'll zoom out a bit, walk around with that nice new walk that I added in there. Right, the um, the process to remove an animation is very similar. Um, to remove it, I, I don't actually have to take it out of the overrider if I don't want to. I can just change the default settings note card and remove the animation from there. So, say I want to remove the stand 1 and only have stand 2. I can load my note card. I can delete stand 1. So I've only got one stand in there now. I can save it. Note card is saved, so I'll close it. And I can load a new note card. Um, I didn't have to drop the animation override on the ground to do that because I was not adding any animations into it. Um, as I said earlier, if you're adding animations into it, it's very important that the overrider is not attached to your avatar, but is actually on the floor in front of your avatar. Um, otherwise, you can wind wind up with find that you have problems actually getting the animation inside it. Um, okay, so now we've added the animation. We should see that there is only one stand and I can click on this as much as I like and it will only play that one stand. Right, so that's basically it. That's how you set up a ZHAO based animation overrider. Um, as I said earlier, lots of people make animations uh, for animation overriders in Second Life. Um, if you haven't already, please drop by my store. Um, I have lots of pre-made animation overrider sets that um, contain all the animations you need and they're already set up. Um, if you don't like any of them, you can of course remove them in the uh, the way I just showed you with that last animation. Um, I also sell lots of individual animations from the various animation sets that you can you can purchase and add into your um, animation overrider set.